If you've ever wanted to put a stacked bar chart next to a regular bar chart, Excel makes it kind of difficult, but it is possible to manually do this, and I'm going to show you how here. So looking at this made up data here, we have some drivers and their hours. And we have a team of drivers, Tim and Samantha drive together, and together they've driven 30 hours, whereas George is a standalone driver and he's driven 16. We want to show Tim and Samantha's hours as a stacked bar next to George's standalone hours. So how we're going to do that, <clears throat> we first need to put a placeholder into our data and it doesn't really matter what we make this, I just like to make it the same as the largest number in my series. And then we go ahead and insert a stacked bar chart and you'll see that you are given four separate bars. We're going to switch the uh, row and column by hitting this icon and it's going to make it a true stacked with our data. Now just for aesthetics I don't like the legend on the right so I'm going to move it to the bottom here and we want to put George and our placeholder on the secondary column so we select George here we're going to format data series we're going to put him over on the secondary column and so that it shows everything we're going to format the axis to match this axis and this is now way higher than it will be at the very end because it's adding up three people's hours at this point or two people in a placeholder but we're gonna change this again here once uh, this left axis changes so now we want to find placeholder and we want to move this also to the secondary axis <clears throat> and this will now drop the left axis down to 35 so now we can go back in <clears throat> and format the right axis to 35 as well and then we can delete this so right now we have George and the placeholder on this other axis but they're still a stacked bar so we want to go in and change series chart type and make it a traditional bar chart and it will put them side by side. Now we want to format this data series and get some space in between them. Oops, I'm going the wrong way here. So that we can fit the stacked one next to it. And I like to make these a little smaller. <clears throat> and we'll close this. And now we're going to do the same thing to the stacked bar. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I'm going to make this a lot smaller so it sits right next to George's time here. And this is just a matter of getting it smaller. We're going to close. And then we're going to make placeholder a clear fill and we're going to delete the title placeholder so that it doesn't show up on our axis. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that <clears throat> one down there as well on the bottom axis. So now you have a stacked bar next to a traditional bar and you can go in there and tweak the gap width um, to make these more identically uh, in line width wise. This is looking slightly bigger than this. But there's your workaround to put a stacked bar chart next to a traditional bar chart in Excel. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps.